Welcome to this new video. In this video, we have a problem statement and we want to choose whether we can use a transpose or an anpower for the listed data. So we are having a data and this data is like a family name and the names of the family and the ages, but they have written it as a family in a row. So this won't be a good data because if this family is having around 25 members, so this column will increase, it will be difficult to transform the data. So what we need, whether we need to do it transpose or whether we need to do an unpower to get the correct list of columns. As you know, transpose is a table operation in Power Query that rotates the table 90 degree, turning your rows into columns and columns into rows. So if you see the intro, so this is this is a, an example for transpose. So this column, this row is going to be in a column and this Williams rows will change into another column. So this is exactly what happens. This first row that is getting changed to this first column and the second row is getting changed to the second column. But at the same time, Antuvod, it transforms columns into attribute value pairs so where columns become rows. So if you check it, so this, if you select here, if you select Antuvod to the other columns like this from here to end, and what happens is this column will be similar like this. At the same time, this column will be divided into attribute and value. And the attribute will be the column headings and the value will be the values listed corresponding. So we will try both the ways and we will see which way is better than the other for this current example. So we can go to transform data. So we got the family table. We will take the reference and we will change the name to transpose. So first we will try transpose. And for transposing the above example, we can go to the transform menu option. And here transport is there. And select the family name and you can do the transpose and we got the column like this and we need to change the heading so you can go to the home page and you can go to use first row as head so this is one simple method two steps it is over transform and the family names uh, family name and the members of the family with respect to the ages are listed below. so now we will do the second one we will go to family and we will take the reference and we will change this to unpivot and here we can select this family name itself we can right click and we can do unpivot other columns so when we unpivot other columns what happened was the family name is listed here and the exact family the first name age and the family everything is listed here so which one is having better advantage of God. So the problem in transpose is if the family name, we have two rows here. If you're having 25 rows, it will change into 25 columns. So it will be difficult to analyze all those. The columns will be increasing. As far as the columns are increasing, it will be very difficult to analyze. For us, if the rows are increasing, it doesn't matter. So when we go to unpivot option, columns will be only three columns. Always it will be three columns. The rows will be increasing. So the better option will be unpivot it and do the transformation and do the calculation with respect to this unpivot table. So hope it was an interesting video. Have a nice day.